Pollyanna. Pollyanna, a ten-year-old girl with golden hair and a smile, radiated joy all around her. But she had lost her parents and was completely alone. So, she was taken to an orphanage. This orphanage was her sole home. After some time passed, her affluent aunt agreed to look after her. Pollyanna was surprised to see that her new home was a mansion, rather than a dwelling. Nancy, move the girls' belongings upstairs to the attic. Thank you for taking me in. Yes. It seemed that I had no option in this situation. Now swiftly follow Nancy to your room, and don't get lost. It's lovely! Is it? Yes, take in the entire space. And do you see? This lovely window overlooks the courtyard. Aunt gave me the greatest room in the house. That is one way of looking at things. There isn't much to do here, except try to keep out of your aunt's way. Dinner will be served exactly at 6 p.m. If you are even a moment late, you will be punished. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. gorgeous home I have. Mommy and Daddy, you would adore it here. It's already 6.02 p.m. Pollyanna, where are you? Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Dinner began around five minutes ago. When your aunt gets hold of you, you will be in big trouble. I apologize. I've lost count of time. Everything is very wonderful here. You're late. I was admiring the gorgeous flowers and clouds. Did you notice that it is a beautiful day outside? I don't care. We have rules here. Pollyanna disregarded her aunt's pessimism and sat down to eat her lunch. Pollyanna enjoyed every piece, but her aunt was too upset to eat. She brought her to her attic bedroom and locked her inside. Stay here till tomorrow morning. Take the time to learn proper etiquette. Her aunt shut the door, leaving Pollyanna in her bed. Pollyanna first felt upset. Oh, Mommy! Oh, Dad! I miss you so much! Aunt does not comprehend how much the world has to give. She only sees the worst parts. I wish you were here to aid me. Pollyanna saw and moved over to peer outside. It was a lovely evening. Pollyanna looked outside her window and saw the full moon and stars shining on the flowers in the courtyard. Wow! It's fantastic! Exactly like a picture. It's just what I needed. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Even though I am trapped in my room, I can still appreciate the night sky, something I would not have been able to do otherwise. I'll attempt to show my aunt that it's all right to be cheerful and appreciate the positive in life. I'll teach her the glad game. The next morning, once Nancy had opened Pollyanna's chamber, the two walked to the village for a few supplies. Pollyanna enjoyed gazing at the various storefronts and waving at people. But there was one individual in particular who stood out to her the most. He stood on the street, scowling, and without saying anything to anyone. Pollyanna rants right up to him. I am Pollyanna. What is your name? Mr. Pendleton. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Pendleton. Isn't it a lovely day for shopping? Sure. Pollyanna, let's leave this man alone. I'm sorry, sir. Until we meet again, Mr. Pendleton. They proceeded to shop. Pollyanna encountered Jimmy, a small child, outside a toy shop. He offered to let Pollyanna play with his ball, and they quickly became friends. 
Pollyanna came upon a tiny kitten on the street while walking home with Nancy. It appeared forlorn and alone, so she grabbed it up. I can see that this tiny kitten needs a home. Pollyanna, I don't believe your aunt will enjoy it. We must show kindness to those in need. Back at home, Pollyanna showed her aunt to the new cat. Her name is Daisy. We do not let stray animals inside our house. Disgusting. But she's lonely and hungry. I'll put her in the attic so she can see the birds outside the window and bask in the sunlight. You won't even realize she's here. Every week, Nancy would go shopping with Pollyanna in the village. She played with Jimmy as often as possible, and the two became closest friends. Pollyanna initially introduced the glad game to Jimmy. The glad game is simple. What are you sad about? My mommy has prepared the same supper every night this week. I'm sad that we won't be able to try anything new. Here's how to play. Take a time to envision something far worse. Like not having any food at all. Exactly! Imagine you didn't have any food. Even if it is the same meal, at least you are eating. You're never hungry. You are correct. I feel better. Jimmy and Pollyanna enjoyed the glad game. Pollyanna would spend the next two weeks teaching the glad game to the rest of the village's residents. Everyone was in awe of her optimism. One afternoon, Pollyanna decided to bring Jimmy home to meet her aunt. Aunt, this is Jimmy. It's good to meet you. Pollyanna, what did I warn you about bringing home strays? But, but I'm not a stray. Jimmy was very offended by Pollyanna's aunt's statements. He stormed out of the home, weeping. Jimmy, wait! Pollyanna rushed after Jimmy. He glanced both ways before crossing the street. In her rush, Pollyanna failed to look both ways. She hurried after Jimmy, and then something dreadful occurred. Ah! Pollyanna spent an extended period of time in the hospital following the accident. Pollyanna maintained a stance even as she lay in bed. She showed the nurse and physicians how to play the glad game, and they all grinned and laughed. The only person who did not know how to play was her aunt. Pollyanna, how do you maintain such a cheerful attitude? It's the glad game. I have never heard of it. I can teach you. Mr. Pendleton had heard about Pollyanna's injury and came to the hospital as soon as possible. Over the following two weeks, he would sit next to Pollyanna's bed, beside her aunt and Nancy. He and Pollyanna chatted about everything and were good friends. One day, he told Pollyanna a secret. I used to know your mother. Really? Yes, I can see so much of her in you. That's wonderful! I have more money than I could possibly need. Do you want to come live with me? I can take care of you. We can train you to walk again. Oh, wow! I don't believe I could ever leave my aunt. But I think I know someone else who could really use your assistance. Mr. Pendleton left for the day, promising to catch up with Pollyanna again. Pollyanna told her aunt about Mr. Pendleton's proposal, and Aunt and Nancy shed tears of joy that she would not abandon them. I understand now, Pollyanna. You are a beam of brightness in a world full of clouds and rain. I will never let you go. We all love you. Thank you for demonstrating how to discover the beauty in life. We enjoy every time we spend with you. Mr. Pendleton used his money to pay for professional physicians to help Pollyanna walk again. After months of practice, Pollyanna returned home with her aunt and Nancy. Mr. Pendleton met Jimmy and, owing to Pollyanna, decided to hire him as an assistant. Jimmy learned a lot from Mr. Pendleton and was able to provide more money for his family. Dear Mommy and Daddy, I miss you every day. 
and has now learned to appreciate the beauty of life. Jimmy and Mr. Pendleton are happy together, and I can now walk again. Daisy Kitten is the sweetest pet in the world, and I am overjoyed. I owe it all to you for instilling in me positivism and elegance. If I hadn't lost my ability to walk, I wouldn't have realized how much of a blessing it is to be able to move around independently. With genuine love, your daughter, Pollyanna. The End